morning everybody we are about to pull up to the shop in a minute we got an install to do today don't know where it is don't know what it is but whatever it is it should be fun so come along for the ride well we got a uh, coil and condenser to install today shouldn't be too bad we'll try to catch some video do a startup on it and uh, I hope you all enjoy just a few minutes from where the shop is over here so not much of a driving montage so we'll just go ahead and skip it stay tuned all right so we're on site and uh, actually revisiting a job that I had shot a video cleaning of the condenser July last year um, I'll see if I can find the video and post a link to it in an annotation or a card but uh, this is where we're at right here and if you recall that sucker was filthy we're gonna run a new refrigerant line and uh, go for a new condenser and then over here in the basement we're going to pull that evaporator coil off set a new evaporator and uh, run a new refrigerant pipe like I said I think a minute ago I think we're setting a new condensation pump and new thermostat but uh, that's what we're getting into today and we'll take you along for the ride stay tuned
we got the coil in, got the unit up and running. Everything sealed up. Got an SS2 on the secondary, primary with the P-trap. Condensate pump wired in for the float switch. SS2 wired in to break red. We've got the air supply probe and the return probe. Not doing too poorly at this point. Airflow seems to be a little low, but not doing terrible. David's on his phone. We've got, what was it, about 42 inches to the joist? Yeah, just over three feet there. So, we've got a four foot clearance to the uh, floor up there. And uh, about a pound and a half into additional refrigerant charge. And I was looking for my damn iPad. We got a 20 degree split, calculating out at two and three quarter tons, 351 head, 138 suction, six degrees of subcooling, just under 11 degrees of superheat. Target subcool is 11. We got a 76 return and a 56 supply. If we go to system performance, the airflow airflow is about a thousand CFM on a three ton. Our temperature split is a target of 17 with a 20 degree split. Not terrible. Dehumidifying pretty well. All right. We got it dialed in pretty much where I want it. We're flirting with a 10 to 11 degree subcooling right at it 20 degree temperature split 10 degrees of superheat head pressure right on target suction pressure right on target if we go to system performance our target temperature split is 17 and a half we got a 20 degree split gives us just under 350 cfm per ton calculates at 1020 per or 1,020 overall. Basically 2.7 calculated tonnage and currently running at 11, 11.36 EER. Say we're not doing too bad. Go ahead and take our system snapshot. And send our report. Good to go. All right, guys. So we finished her up. Got it all running. Customers happy, feeling comfy. Um, we may end up actually having a service call or something to run. Not 100% sure yet. Head back to the shop and get rid of the trash that we can. And. Uh, We'll see you on the next video. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Peace.
cold, cold night But man, your heart is heavy You got troubles on your mind 